Hey guys, it's Riders Block here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a deep house slash future house pluck. Uh, so basically, you want to start off by clicking this plus button, and you want to go to massive. Today I'm going to be using massive because uh, I find I find it very easier, uh, much easier than to use compared to other ones, and uh, I just enjoy using it the most. Anyways. Uh, you want to start off by going to the first oscillator. Uh, you want to select. You want to select crush or uh, crusher, I believe it is. Yeah, crush, crusher. And then you want to uh, turn the pitch down all the way down, all the way to negative sixty-four. So basically, what that does is, well, it goes by twelve. Uh, each twelve. It is an octave. So if you say you start off at zero, that's uh, this octave. Or that's an awful sound right now, but and then uh, say you go to negative twelve, that is this octave, and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. You just keep on going by multiples of twelve. So after that, you want to turn the wavetable position uh, about past twenty-five and in between 25 and in between uh, 50 so 42 <laughs> I don't know <laughs> alright All right. and then you want to uh, raise this to no you want to lower this to uh, filter 2 so it goes through filter if correct me if I'm wrong filter filter 2 first and then filter 1 and then after that you want to go to the second oscillator and then you want to select sine arm syn synarmonic I believe synarmonic 2 and then you want to lower it to the uh, negative 12 which is just down one octave you want to raise the wavetable position just before 75 percent you want to take the intensity just around the same and you want to turn up the amp because you want to hear the sound amp just pretty much is the sound and you want to raise it to filter one so it goes through filter one first and um, I'll explain why that is important later and then when you go to you want to go to oscillator three you want to hold alt left click and raise it to uh, 12 which is an uh, one oscillated one uh, octave higher than zero and then you want to turn the wavetable position up turn uh, up the volume just in between 75 and uh, 50 percent and you want to go here and you want to select in in our in harmonic and after that you want to go to ring mod right here you want to turn it about in between 50 and 75 percent once again and you want to hold alt left click and raise the mouse up to uh, 12 and after that you want to t make this ring mod go to the second oscillator so this effect will go to the second oscillator which is the synharmonic 2 and after that you want to go to phase and you want to raise it up to exactly 75 percent and then you want it to uh, take effect onto oscillator one. So after that, you want to go to noise, and in noise, you want to select um, where is it? AC AC power, and then you want to raise color just above uh, fifty percent, and amp all the way just past fifty percent too, and then. That's it. So after that, oh, okay. In oscillator three, I forgot to raise the, uh, uh, put it up to make sure it goes through filter one. So do that. All right. So after that, you want to head to the oscillator tab. No, you want to head to the voicing tab. Excuse me. And you want to set the unisono to two. You want to. Uh, you want to set it to mono rotate right here and keep it on 
always. And then you would set the pitch cut off to just about, mm, I say, 20%. Maybe even less, yeah. And then you want to click pan position and you just leave it be. Or just, yeah, leave it be. And after that, you want to go to filter one. No, before that, you want to go to this little like column right here and you want to raise it up all the way. And then you want to go to filter one, select low pass four, and pretty much what that does, it uh, enables cut off, which is basically, now correct me if I'm wrong with this too, it, as you turn up cut off, it allows more higher frequencies in. So if I go to the mixer and allow, um, and add fruity parametric EQ, and then go to type low pass, this is basically cut off. So, uh, all right. So you s add a low cutoff, which is what it begins with. It it only allows low frequencies. Yeah. And so as you increase the uh, f the cutoff, you allow more frequencies in. So you're allowing allowing all these in from high frequencies to mid frequencies all the way to low frequencies and if you turn it down all the way you're just gonna hear a really muffled sound so after that you want to go you want to turn this up just a little bit you want to go to the first envelope and you want to turn the attack all the way down Incre uh, I put release just about 50% and then go back to decay turned out about in between 25 no just past 25% and turn the level uh, let's say 25% and then you want to click on these little four arrows uh, two arrows right here and then you want to hold it and drag it right under, cu under cut off and then you want to take the cut off and raise it all the way. You, 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 no, don't take the cutoff. Take this little box, hold left click, and raise your mouse all the way up. All right, so you get that sound, but I just need to fix the pluck sound uh, by increasing the K a little bit. Just gonna play around with it. All right, so basically after that, you want to select, go to uh, FX1 all the way to the right, and you want to select chorus. In chorus, just chorus, not chorus mono, not chorus ensemble, just chorus. And then in there, just follow as I do. You want to turn it up just before, uh, you want to tr turn the dry slash wet up just before uh, 50%. Uh, rates, turn it down just in between 25 and 50 percent turn the offset just uh, just down before uh, 50 percent and as well with the depth and after that you want to go to you want to select dimension expander and then so follow as I do you want to turn up dry slash wet just before I mean just as uh, 25% turn the size down in between 25 and 50% and that's it and then you want to go to the equalizer the EQ activate it by pressing this gray button to make a blue if it's blue it's activated if it's gray it's not activated you want to turn the low shelf down just a little bit turn the boost up the frequency just a teeny bit and the high shelf off also a little bit and so after that you want to go down here to insert one you want to select S shaper which is sign shaper uh, increase the dry wet just past 50 percent and keep uh, turn the drive to 50 percent after that um, if there's anything to change mm, doesn't look I don't think there's anything no, I believe that's it. Um, just once you're done with this, add uh, this uh, add this feature house sound 
to uh, the mixer and add a reverb. I know it sounds bad right now, but once you put it to a lower sound, it sounds great. Anyways, you want to, once you, I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna go uh, put much effort into a fruity reverb because it sounds fine, just like this. Maybe just a little bit less wet, but a little bit size. All right, anyways, you want to go down and just copy the melody or make up a melody of your own. Um, all right, um, well, first I want to go to this, you want to go to this magnet and set it to, um, uh, one third step and a lot of Future House has that kind of swingy, I guess, feel because they have it on this third step and they give it that kind of, uh, just follow as I do and you'll, you'll see how it is. Let me turn down the BPM to about 75. That's fine. Uh, and then you want to add a side chain to that by going to the mixer, uh, going to gross, uh, gross beat or gross beat, however you pronounce it. And then you want to go to side chain. And then these little dots right here, I just right click them instead of, you know, changing it manually in case you guys didn't know that already. All right. And then I'm going to go ahead and add a kick. So and then I'm going to add that kick to the first uh, insert in the mixer. And I'm going to add a uh, sound gooderizer to that and to, uh, decrease the volume. And after that, I want to uh, go add 3x oscillator. Uh, and I already have a preset, but I'll still I'm gonna select it and I'm gonna guide you through it. So basically, I uh, selected the square sound, it turned the course all the way down, and then I selected uh, I believe this is a saw sound. Correct me if I'm wrong, and turned the course about uh, 12. And I selected the saw, uh, the white noise sound, and uh, set set the course. But it doesn't really matter when you have that. And then for uh, and I decreased the volume all, all, almost all the way for those uh, se second oscillator and third oscillator. And then I kind of want a pluck sound, uh, so I'm going to go to mod X, uh, decrease the amount about all the way, just about all the way, and. Um, Decrease the attack. I 
I think that sounds fine. And now I'm gonna add this to the uh, knife insert on the mixer. I'm going to go ahead and mask it. Instead of adding the grass bead, a grain of grass bead again, I'm just going to go to uh, this arrow on the massive insert. Uh, click, uh, click this little arrow, and uh, hold safe preset as. Drag it over to uh, this base, and uh, it just copies whatever was over here to here, so I don't have to do it all over again. And so after that, I'm going to add a. Uh, Sound good riser just to make it sound more rich. And decrease the volume since it increase uh typically when you add sound good riser increases the volume. And so after that I'm going to copy and paste the melody uh from massive over to uh the bass. And And I'm just gonna decrease the sound a little bit more, and then I'm just gonna go to the kick, right, uh, right click it, fill each four steps, and um, sometimes it's uh, sometimes it's good to, um, you know, add layers on top of the sound. Uh, just to make it sound more rich. So, say, for instance, um, I add on top of it, I add an extra sound on top of it. So, I already made a bunch of these. So, yeah, I'm just gonna go to one of the presets I've made, and then. And basically, this is the final product. Oh, so forgot to mention. A lot of uh, Future House songs have this kind of like the techno, I guess, or the uh, old kind of hi hats, like like this, like that. So I'm going to add that. And then I'm going to just take a, a clap. I'll just add this one. Decrease the volume and decrease the volume for both. All right. Yep. So that's about it. Thanks for watching. Bye.